All right, now let's talk about the do's and the don'ts while getting mortgage ready. This video is going to tell you on some major things you do and don't want to do. Uh, one of the main things we talked about in the other video was uh, no large deposits. Uh, or if you've got a large deposit, make sure you're prepared to source and season it. Make sure, meaning source where the money came from, season how long it's been there. You also want to make sure that you don't do any job changes or at least any unnecessary job changes during the mortgage process. When you're getting mortgage ready, changing jobs can actually impact your qualification. It can change the in way your income is calculated. Uh, also can make the underwriter change decisions on what information is used to qualify. So if you've got to make a job change, make sure you're communicating that with your lender uh, so they can be prepared for that. Uh, but if it's not a necessity, make sure you don't make that job change during the mortgage process. Uh, and the mortgage process all the way to funding. Even if you close on Friday, your loan might not fund until Monday. If you make a job change during that, that is a huge problem with your lender. So same thing, uh, wait until your loan is funded before you make any large purchases. Really important. Not the day you close, but the day your loan is funded. Is If you close on a Friday, sign all the paperwork, your loan still might not fund till Monday. Make sure you don't go out and buy the furniture before you actually own the house. Because when you go out and use your credit cards or make a large purchase, purchase, it's going to, if you pay cash, it's going to lower your assets and your reserves that you're using to qualify. If you use your credit cards, it's going to increase your credit card balances, which can affect your credit score, which can affect your mortgage insurance, your mortgage interest rate, and all the way down to your qualification. So remember, uh, also during the review process of your credit report, you don't want to run out and just pay a collection just because it's on your credit report thinking that it's going to increase your credit score. Your lender might make it a requirement and if so you definitely need to follow those lenders instructions but when you're reviewing your credit report like we talked about in the other video make sure you don't just go out and pay that collection. We've seen someone go out and pay a collection it actually lowers their credit score and causes problems during the mortgage process. So make sure you're communicating all this and remember the do's and the don'ts about getting mortgage ready.